All right, so we're gonna vacuum fill this cooling system. If you've seen any of my other cooling system repairs and you've seen me do this before, this is called an air lift. First thing we're gonna do is just put this thing under a small amount of vacuum temporarily. Doesn't need a lot. Okay, but all I wanna do is pre-fill my charge hose. This hose right here that we're gonna use to draw coolant into the cooling system. I wanna pre-fill that so we don't have any air in it. Okay, go ahead and close that off. Now that's completely filled with coolant, so now when I hook that back up while the system's under vacuum, there won't be any air getting pulled into the system. It's gonna be coolant only. What we're gonna go ahead and do is put this thing under vacuum using this vacuum pump here. And we're looking for about 26, 27 inches of vacuum on the system and for it to hold good vacuum before we fill it up. So this is doing two things right now. This is vacuum testing for any leaks which a vacuum test is a actually more accurate way to test the cooling system than a pressure test is. Okay, there's about 27 inches of vacuum there. We're gonna close the valve off, disconnect our air, and we'll let this sit for just a minute and make sure it doesn't drop down. But the fact that this can hold 27 inches of vacuum right now tells me that there's definitely no leaks in the cooling system, especially external leaks. Um, but this would even find a head gasket leaking too. I've, I've had it happen before. So now that the system's under vacuum, let's look up the definition of vacuum. Alexa, what's the definition of vacuum? A vacuum is a space that is completely devoid of matter. It is a void that contains no matter, such as air or gas. Thank you. A vacuum is Alexa, stop. All right, so like that gal there was saying, a vacuum is a space that's completely devoid of any matter, including air. So that means all the way up to this fitting right here, we have vacuum. On this side of the fitting, we have coolant. So when we open these valves, that vacuum is gonna draw coolant up into the cooling system and completely fill it without any air being trapped inside there at all. This is the most efficient way that I've found to fill up a cooling system. Of course, we'll still go drive this afterwards, make sure that the coolant is circulating properly, make sure that it doesn't airlock or have any issues going on with it. But out of hundreds of cooling systems that I've filled using the vacuum technique, I can't think of any off the top of my head where I've had air trapped in the system or an issue with air being trapped in the system. And in fact, I've had vehicles come to me from other shops or other people that worked on their own vehicle and they couldn't get the air out of the system. They thought maybe they had like a head gasket issue and all we had to do was do a vacuum fill on it in order to get it to not be air locked anymore and get the coolant flowing properly. But once you get close to zero, you can kind of massage your upper radiator hose and then I leave the valves open, just pull the fitting off and that allows the coolant to drain back down into the bucket. As you can see here, if we pull this off, We've got coolant all the way up to the top of our cooling system with absolutely no air in there. So there's no need for me to spend a half hour filling this thing up with a burp funnel and trying to burp the cooling system out. It is already burped and ready to go drive.